G'day champions, today we're going to open up the Xbox One, give the fan a clean up inside, as you can see it's pretty dirty this one. Last week we just gave it a clean up outside with a vacuum cleaner, isopropyl alcohol, and that kind of stuff. Put a link to that video in the description or up in the top right corner. But for now we want to concentrate on cleaning the dust inside, so if you're enjoying these videos, sub would be bloody awesome, really do appreciate those guys. But on with the show. First we can see we've got the side of the unit. This one here is the one that pops open. So only one side pops open. You want to grab yourself just a flat bladed screwdriver or some kind of tool that's going to represent this. And as you can see, just poke it in on the side there. It can be a little difficult to remove if it hasn't been removed before, but just have confidence, give it a go. As you can see, mine is blooming filthy inside. So I do have a bit of work ahead of me. First, we want to just get this little slidey piece and slide that to the right. We're going to name that the slidey piece, all right guys? And uh, just sit here, uh, just really absolutely gobsmacked at the amount of dust that's collected inside. Being honest, this isn't the first time I've had this open. And next up, you want to grab yourself just a household brush. I find these really handy when I'm cleaning up consoles, but I just use that, clean up these side grills. And I'll take this chance to add that you could also just give this bit a bit of a scrub with the brush and close it up from there. And you probably keep your warranty as well and you don't have to disassemble it and it will give you minor improvements. But if you do want to keep going, grab yourself one of these flat tools. I'll put a link to where you can get them from in the description below. Or just grab a tool that's going to do that same sort of job. And you can see I'm just working away at the sides here. I will admit this isn't easy to do. It, it's really hard to unclick and stuff. I make it look easy in the video because I've had it off a couple of times. But in all honesty, you can see like there's all these little clippy bits. I'll put little arrows there. You're going to need to just take your time, work away at it slowly. And that will eventually release and give you access and you can open the unit up. But I will say, be careful of this little power button, little cable ribbony thing. You can release that first by sliding this thing to the right, then lifting the blue bit up and then pulling the cable out to the right hand side. And so just watch the video, that section of the video a couple of times and uh, make sure you get that right because if that breaks, that's going to cause you all sorts of troubles. And I'm just going to take a quick second to ask if you guys could pretty please like the video. Work real hard on these and uh, I really appreciate it when you guys do like the video because YouTube tends to promote a bit more. And uh, yeah, just say I really appreciate it. Thanks guys. But moving on with the video, I've got the household brush there. Just give the outer shell a quick brush off. And then you can see I've got the inner fan or access to the inner fan here. So I'm just going to give that a quick brush off and again for those who don't want to go too far with the disassembly or find they can't get the screws out next or something like that, even though I do have a video for that, you want to just give this a quick clean up and that's going to again give you some improvements, not perfect. Now I've got a little rocket ship tool here, it's my favourite, I'm just going to leave a link to that below because that might help you with this sort of job and a lot of people asked me in my previous videos where I got that from so... Make sure to leave a link where you can get that from, and that's an affiliate link, so you are supporting my channel as well when you do it, so thanks guys. Next up, we've got the household brush, just giving the edges of the unit a quick clean up again. Uh, we've got the disc tray here, and the, uh, what have we got, Wi-Fi connector, and little speaker, Bezo, whatever, Piezo connector. So I'll give this area just a quick, rough clean up, be very gentle and light on the area. And then I'm just going to use this tool to release that little... Uh, Connect a clippy thing. Then we've got the unit uh, orientated this way and I'll point out where all the screws are. Then I've got myself a flat bladed screwdriver because I didn't have a Torx that fitted correctly. I've got a video on that as well. I'll link that up in the corner now. Just a cheesy little plug. But yeah, I've um, just got a quick montage here for you guys. Skip through basically of uh, me undoing the screws because that's not really the most exciting thing in the world in my opinion. Uh, like if you agree. But aside from that, while we're doing this, I did want to let you guys know I've just had channel memberships become open and available. So I'm going to be chucking that out soon. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. And other news on the home front, I do have another channel as well. So I've been putting out regular uploads on that. I wanted to show you guys. Um, put a link to that at the end of the video. But you can see here we've got the two screws removed on this little piece. And once we've got that removed, that shows one more hidden screw underneath. So you want to make sure you get that removed as well. That only takes a moment and then we can actually get the unit open. No, we can't. We've got one more screw to do. So we'll get this screw as well. <laughs> silly mick, silly mick. 
uh, always have some kind of potato moment in these videos. Sorry, guys. Never can quite get it right, but I'm sick of doing retakes because I tell you, sometimes I sit here forever doing this. So we'll keep moving on. Got the cover off or whatever it is. The the shell. I don't know what to call it. Anyone else know the name? Yeah, aside from that, give it a clean up. Get it all brushed off. You can see there's just dust everywhere. Then you've got three more screws to remove. Uh, they're Torx as well. So just, again, using the flat blade. I think I've been able to use the same size flat blade for all these as well. Now we've got the unit open. This is the moment we've been waiting for. And you can see it's just chockers full of dust still. Even after all the uh, little cleanups and stuff we've done on the outside. So if you were thinking of stopping earlier, you can see you are still leaving quite a bit of dust inside. So as you can see, every step we do, when we remove like a shell or layer or whatever, we want to give it a clean up. But good old Mick there doing it on camera has just put even more dust back in the unit. So I don't recommend doing that. Do it away from the unit. But yeah, give it a good brush out. Now I'm using a brush here. I would recommend probably using something a bit more sensitive if you're not experienced with what you're doing here. Maybe like a makeup brush or you can even use the vacuum cleaner. That works a little bit, but it's not going to get everything off. Uh, you can use a can of compressed air. I'll chuck a link to where you can get those below. And you can also use uh, like that little rocket ship tool again. Uh, I'll crack that out in a moment. But before I get too far ahead of myself, I've just lifted up the disk drive there. That's uh, easy to remove. It's not screwed in or anything like that. And now we just give it all underneath a good clean out. And then I'm just going to put that back in its place. There are some little pins in the main board. I'll show you with the hard drive next how to find the pins and where to locate that properly. But you can see we just lift the hard drive out, give that a bit of a clean underneath as well. I will remind you, if you're using a brush, just be so careful because all these components, you could knock one of them off the board and then it's game over. And uh, please don't be upset at me. I don't take liability for any of the stuff you're trying here. Use the little blowy tool. You can see I've got a different rocket ship there. I lost the other one somehow in the middle of recording this video. God knows where it ended up because I still haven't found it. But you can see I just pointed out the pegs there that you want to slot the hard drive back into. So just make sure that hard drive goes back into place. And then I've been a little bit rough on the fan here. Probably should not have been that rough. Doing this on video for YouTube. Usually get thousands of views. Probably going to get drilled here. But that's how it goes. So that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd be really appreciative if you guys could like and subscribe. And chuck us a comment below if you want me to do a reassembly video on this. But aside from that, I'll link a video you might like on the screen now. And thanks for watching, champions. Really appreciate it, eh?